Ball is picked up in the middle of the park by Kamara. Moves forwards to Douglas Louise. He's driving into the penalty area and he applies the left-footed finish. Pau Torres runs forward with the ball. Plays to Tielemans who switches the play out to the left flank. Zaniolo finds Douglas Louise who finds Bertrand Traore. Miranda drives down the left. He's going to play the ball over the top. Fakir's into the box and he applies the left-footed finish. Free kick to be whipped in by Miranda. Aims to the back post and there's Riyad to head it home. Grimaldo with the free kick. Plays it to Andrik. Plays it forward to Schick. Lays it off to Palacios. Hoffman turns his man. He's into the box and he finishes it well. Grimaldo's off down the left-hand side. He's running into the space. Pulls it back to Palacios. Pass is blocked. And there's Wurtz with the screamer. If you are looking for a 4-3-3 that scores lots of goals whilst also being defensively sound, I think I might have a tactic just for you. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my very own creation. This is the FM84 Infinity 433. I've been putting it through its paces in testing and it's done very well. So in today's video, I'm going to show you what happens when I test it with Aston Villa, Real Betis by Leverkusen and a mystery team but first we're going to break the tactic down so i'm going to go through all of the positions and all of the tabs to show you just what makes this tactic tick but first if you need to stop the video at any point pause it feel free to jot down any instructions if you are porting this out of the pc version and also if you want to have a go with this tactic to see how you get on with this there will be a link in the description down below so let's kick things off then at the back with the sweeper keeper he is set like this the back four is a wing back two ball playing defenders set to cover and on the right you have another wing back the midfield trio are set up with a defensive midfielder set to support a segundo volante set to attack and a ball winning midfielder set to support on either side of the pitch you'll have an inside forward and at the top of the pitch you will have an advanced forward it is set up with a positive mentality the in possession will look like this the in transition will look like this the out of possession will look like this so I've been putting this tactic through its paces and I'm going to show you what happens when I tested it with Aston Villa, Raul Betis, Bayer Leverkusen and that mystery team. To kick off the results roundup, let's start with Aston Villa where we find them winning the Premier League. They have also won the Europa Conference League. In the FA Cup, they were knocked out in the fifth round by Everton. And in the Carabao Cup, surprisingly, they were knocked out by Preston North End. In the Conference League, they got all the way to the final where they played against Fenerbahce. They would win that game 1-0 with a goal from Ollie Watkins. They did have a second goal disallowed. And in the Premier League we can see that they have won the league by one point. They played 38, won 27, drew six, lost five, had a goal difference of 64, which was the best in the league, and they finished on 87 points, winning the league by one from Liverpool. If we go into the squad to see how the goals and assists were shared out, Ollie Watkins would get himself 32 goals across the season. He had five assists. We had Douglas Louise with 15 goals and nine assists. Musa Diaby would get 13 goals and 23 assists. Further down, there were 11 assists for Matty Cash, 10 assists for Tielemans and 13 assists for Dina. If we go into the data hub to look at some of the numbers, starting off with the defending. So goals conceded per game, 0.82. XG goals per game, 1.14. Tackles attempted, 29.21. Tackles one ratio, 77.3. Interceptions per game, 20.26. Blocks per game, 3.37. Clearances per game, 6.97. And fouls made per game, 17.97. In the attacking numbers, goals per game, 2.50. Non-penalty XG per 90 was 1.95. Shots per game, 16.45. Shots on target ratio, 48.48. Dribbles per game, 17.11. Cross completion 13.91, pass completion ratio 86.95 and fouls against per game 11.29. So Aston Villa kick us off by winning the Premier League and the Conference League. 
Next up, we move on to Spain, where we are looking at Real Betis. We find them finishing second in La Liga. In the Europa League, they would get through to the knockout playoff round, but they would be beaten by Lons. And in the Copa del Rey, they would only get through to the third round, where they would be beaten by Levante. If we look at La Liga to break down some of the numbers about how they finished second, they would play 38 games, winning 26, drawing 7, losing 5. They would have a goal difference of 49. And they would finish on 85 points. Now that is 8 points behind champions Barcelona. But it is 2 points ahead of Real Madrid who would finish in 3rd. If we go into the squad to look at how the goals and assists were shared out. Find Borca Iglesias would get 36 goals and 7 assists. Nabil Fakir would get 13 goals and 9 assists. Abdi would get 12 goals and 11 assists. Further on down we find Miranda would get 13 assists. And Hector Bellerin would get 12. If we go to the data hub to have a look at some of the numbers there. So in terms of the defending, conceded per game was 1. XG goals against per game was 1.05. Tackles attempted, 27.68. Tackles 1 ratio was 77.09. Interceptions per game, 20.13. Blocks per game, 3.53. Clearances per game, 5.68. Fouls made per game, 14.29. In the attacking numbers, goals per game, 2.29. Non-penalty XG goals was 1.97. Shots per game, 15.37. Shots on target ratio is 45%, dribbles per game 15.55, cross completion was 14%, pass completion ratio was 87.5 and fouls against per game was 11.97. So all in, Real Betis haven't done a bad job finishing second in the Liga only to Barcelona. Next up, we're going to look at Bayer Leverkusen. Firstly, we find them winning the Bundesliga. They have won the Europa League, but they were knocked out in the second round by Braunschweig in the DFB Pokal. Starting us off in the Europa League, then they got all the way through to the final where they would play against Atalanta. They would go on to win the Europa League by scoring one single goal from Andrik. If we go back to the Bundesliga and look at some numbers to see how they would win the league, we find them at top of the table, played 34, won 26, drawn 4, lost 4, had a goal difference of 54, and they got 82 points, meaning that they won the league by 7 points from both Bayern Munich and and Borussia Dortmund. If we look at the squad to see how the goals and assists were shared, we find Schick scored 26 goals, had just one assist. Boniface got 19 goals and five assists. Adley would get 11 goals and 11 assists. Further down, you would have Hoffman with 10 goals and 14 assists. You'd have 11 assists for Wurtz and 9 goals. You would have Grimaldo with 15 assists and Palacios with 12 assists. In the data hub for their numbers, looking at the defending first, goals conceded per game, 0.85. XG per game, 1.08. Tackles attempted per game, 26.68. Tackles one ratio was 79.3. Interceptions per game 19.3 blocks per game 4.03 clearances per game 5 and fouls made per game 15.85 in the attacking numbers goals per game 2.44 non-penalty xg goals 1.80 shots per game 13.24 shots on target ratio 46 percent dribbles per game 15.65 Cross completion, 13.52. Pass completion ratio, 87.1. And fouls against per game, 13.41. So, Leverkusen have done absolutely fantastic by winning the Bundesliga and the Europa League. Let's go on and look at the mystery team. So the mystery team is a bit of a controversial one. It is Barcelona. Now I know that people don't always like it when you test with top teams as they say it's a bit pointless. But as I've already done three different teams, I figured I would just show you what could happen if you put it in the hands of somebody who really, really can use it. So we find Barcelona have got 102 points in La Liga. They got through to the semi-finals of the Champions League where they would lose to Manchester United, but they would win the Copa del Rey and the Supercopa de España. Let's have a look then at the Supercopa first. They would be Atletico Madrid in the final of that 2-1. In the Copa del Rey, they would be Espanyol 2-0. In the Champions League, as I said, knocked out in the semi-finals by Manchester United. But in La Liga, they really excelled. They won 33 of 38 games, drawing three, 
losing twice, having a goal difference of 85 and getting 102 points. If you go to the squad to show you just what happened with the goals and assists, Lewandowski would get 56 goals and 5 assists, Rafinha 24 goals and 17 assists, Ferran Torres and Joe Felix would both get 15 goals, Gabi would get 17 assists. Further down, Pedri with 10 assists, you had Balde with 8 assists and Frankie de Jong also getting 8 Eight assists in the data hub for Barcelona looking at the defensive numbers goals conceded per game 0.68 expected goals per game 0.71 tackles attempted per game 22.5 tackle one ratio was 78% interceptions per game 19 blocks per game 2.68 clearances per game 3.42 and fouls made per game 12.71 in the attacking numbers Goals per game, 2.92. Non-penalty XG goals, 2.45. Shots per game, 20. Shots on target ratio was 42%. Dribbles per game, 18. Cross completion, 14%. Pass completion ratio is 87%. And fouls per game is 13.66. So in the hands of Barcelona, this tactic absolutely crushed Spanish football. Fortunately, couldn't go that extra mile to get us a third European competition. But we do end the test with the Conference League winners, the Europa League winners. We have league winners, cup winners. It really has performed so, so well. And I really look forward to seeing if you test the tactic out. Come back and let me know in the comments section how you get on. Don't forget the link to download this tactic will be in the description down below. Right then, if you're still with me at this point of the video, firstly, a big thank you. Secondly, if you don't mind hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out, there will be another few tactics coming out in the coming weeks. There are also other FM24 videos such as Let's Plays, Hints, Tips, Tutorials, Wonder Kids, a little bit of something for everybody on the channel. But for this one, I'm going to leave it there. Happy scoring. Hope this tactic works for you. I'll see you on another video very soon.